Doctor? An heir, my lord, and a brother for him. Twins. Twins? A toast. Let's drink to it. No. Don't toast this birth. Do you all know how our family began? With twins. Brand and Wolfram. And it will end with twins. Brand the younger murdered his brother. This house began with murder. It will end the same way. Principio et finim similia. I end as I began. My eyes. Lieutenant Hassel, would you please? Certainly, sir. Et postilam noctem wolfram numquam. And after that night, Wolfram was never seen again, either within the castle or without. And all men knew that he had been slain by his younger brother in the black room. And even if it were true, there's no younger and no older. They're twins. You're wrong, Lieutenant Hassel. One is always older than the other. Your boys were born a minute apart, my lord. The prophecy must fall on my children. The older will inherit the title and the lands. The younger, bitter will... The younger will have greater reason than that for bitterness, my lord. His right arm is paralyzed. Paralyzed? I'm sorry. But, your lordship, you're not really going to worry about this barbaric prophecy? The thing that has been believed in for hundreds of years? Read, read further. And the wise have thought that once again there shall be twins and the younger shall slay the older. That is the meaning of the motto of the House of de Bergman. But you can't believe in this, I do believe it. This murder will happen again, in the black room, just as it did before. No, no, don't open it. Friends, this tragedy may not happen for 20, 30, 50 years. I will be dead then. We all may be. What can I do now to prevent this prophecy from ever being fulfilled? Those lordships living in the past, we don't believe... I do. Something must be done. May I offer a simple suggestion? You believe that the younger brother will kill the older in the black room? Yes, I do. Then the prevention is simple. Seal it up. There won't be any black room. Permit me to say so, Your Lordship. Your parents' graves are in a disgraceful condition. I know, I know. But now that my brother's returning, we can take care of it together. Good. But the Budapest Post arrives at the inn in an hour. You're sure you don't want to meet him there? There have been so many attempts on my life of late, I don't want to be seen in public places. Hurry him to me if you pass. I only thought as you hadn't seen your brother Anton in ten years. That's why I want to meet him alone.
be afraid. Say it. The Baron is a tyrant. He's worse than that. He's a fiend. There's only one way to protect ourselves from him. That won't be so easy. He keeps to himself. Ah, oh, you're afraid. That's the trouble. You're cowards. We begged the authorities for help. A lot of good it did us. What does he have to do to us till we strike back? It's easy to talk, but who's going to do it? Just give me a chance. Put him in reach. The coach from Budapest. Has the Baron's coach arrived? Oh. Uh, some sherry, please. He looks like the Baron. See, he does. Didn't the Baron have a brother who left here long ago? Yes. What's he come back for? Wonder Bergman is enough. There's the Baron's coach now. Anton. Why, Colonel Haslow. I'm glad to see you. And my brother, Gregor. Gregor's at the castle. I have to bring you to him. Come, Tom. You'll find things changed. If Gregor's letter hadn't been so insistent, I should never have returned. I couldn't believe that he'd write to me like that. It wasn't an invitation, it was a plea and an entreaty. You should never have left. Oh, it was unbearable here before. I, I had to leave. Because of a superstitious legend? No. Because of what hearing so much about it did to me, I began to believe in the prophecy in spite of myself. Every time I looked at Gregor, my own brother, he seemed to expect me to kill him. That was meant for your brother, Gregor. Come home, sir. Oh, Peter, how are you? Very good, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks for bringing me, Colonel. My niece and I are expecting you and your brother to dinner tonight. You remember Taya? Why, of course I remember Taya. A lovely little girl. Only now she's a lovely big girl. <laughs> we'll be there. Thank you. You are back, sir. The castle will be more cheerful, sir. It is a gloomy place. For ten years almost made me forget it. Now it all comes back. One does feel the gloom, sir. When Kipia went feeling familiar. This is good. Let me look at you. You're looking good. Enjoy your years in Budapest? Oh, very much. It's gay there. But how are you, Gregor? My subjects haven't been so unruly. I'd have proclaimed a great festival, Your Honor. But they don't deserve a feast, much as you do. Sit down, Anton. I've ordered some wine for you. Thanks for coming back to our home. It's been lonely for me here, but now we can divide the responsibilities. Come in. I brought wine from the South Vineyards. 
I remember Mr. Anton was fond of it. Thank you, Peter. Drink it. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Your Lordship. Why do you do this, Gregor? All right, that's all. Surely you don't think he'd poison it? Think. I know. Those swine will do anything. They don't know what they want. I can't trust my servants or anyone. My life's not my own anymore. Gregor, on my way here today, I was shot at. They mistook you for me. But what is it they have against you? Lies. It's not worth talking about. You must deny them, Gregor, or I will. Fine, Anton. That's why I sent for you. Black room and its prophecy that stood between us long enough. A solid wall of brick stands between it and us. We can forget it. What do you say, brother? With all my heart. Then we've nothing to torment us except the colonel who's expecting us to dinner. Shall we go? around here, not you. Take him away. Why do you look at me like that? This is how it was before I went away. It's nothing, my dear Anton. Come, we mustn't be late for dinner. I'm so anxious to have you see Ter. It is extraordinary. Come. Lovely. Yes. She's a lovely child. I think your lordship's brother was referring to the music. I think I meant both. Thank you. If you will excuse me, sir, I must leave. Good night, sir. It's a great pleasure to know you. Thank you, Colonel Hassel. Good night, Tara. I'll see you through the door. Tonight. You know you don't have to leave so soon. What's the matter? Taya, darling, it was enough watching the boy, but suddenly when he looked at you, 
I don't mean to frighten you, Tamer. That Gregor's a monster. Don't you feel it? Every time he comes near me, my blood turns to ice when he touches me. It's all I can do to keep my heart from stopping. I'd give anything if you didn't have to suffer all this, but there's no way out of it for us yet. I swear to you, we'll be happy away from here. Do you believe me? I do. I tell it to myself a hundred times a day. Oh, don't worry about me, Albert. And now, dear, I think I ought to go back. Don't be frightened, Taya. But I must ask you to do one thing. Never allow yourself to be alone with him for a minute, here in this castle. Always have somebody with you. Will you promise me that? Of course, dear. Good night. Good night, dear. I love you. I know you do. You know, my dear, if I ever decide to marry, I can think of no one who would make a more charming baroness than you. Thank you. Don't you agree with me, gentlemen? you. You tend to your own business. I don't need any watching. I won't have you going to the castle again. So, you followed me. You used to want to be with me all the time. Well, I don't doubt You're not going. It doesn't concern you. Let go of me. I play as well as she does. Didn't you listen? Don't you want to kiss me? A pear's the best fruit. Every time you see her, you want to be rid of me. Lots of juice in a pear. Well, your pear not be got rid of so easy. Do you hear what I say? Adam should have chosen a pear. You've got it all planned, haven't you? You're going to marry her. You're going to make her your wife, your baroness. I like the feel of a pair. And when you're through with it... Well, you're not going to marry her. I'll put a stop to it. You will. How? Well, you needn't feel so safe. I'll tell her you asked me up here to play for you. Her future husband, the baron, talking with a servant and listening to her sing. I'll lie. I'll tell her worse than that. Oh, don't be foolish, child. If you were in my place, who would you choose? Colonel Hassel's niece or... You. All right. Who would you choose? A sweet little innocent who plays the harp or someone who knows the other door to the black room? Someone who's seen you carry heavy things in there late at night. Been spying on me. Oh, I didn't mean to. I... It's me, your lordship, Peter. Is there anything you want? No, nothing, nothing. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night.
Is there anything I can do for you, sir? No, thank you, Peter. No. Good night, sir. Good night, Peter. Good night. Sure, there is nothing I can do for you, sir. Quite sure. Good night. Yes, sir. Good night, sir. The last that was heard of her. She served dinner at the Colonel's house. What, what? The Baron was there. And who else was there? Yes. Well, he's never far away when something like this happens. She came out and I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. She broke away and she went into the castle. I don't want to get into any trouble. You won't get in any trouble. I'm afraid the Baron will kill me. Come on. What have you found out? This. That's hers. That's the shawl Mushko's wearing the night she went to the castle. Where did you find it? Come on, where did you find it? At the head of the stairs, outside his lordship's room. I thought so. Now do you believe the Baron killed Mushka? I do, for one. But what are we going to do about it? Appeal to the authorities again? We can't let him go on like this. No more murder. I'll do anything you say. Let's stop this one way or another. There's only one. Come on, let's go to the castle. Let's wait. Come on, come on. Come on. Follow me. You may be indifferent if you like, Your Lordship, but the peasants are aroused. Are you so filled with your own importance you think nothing can happen to you? Would you mind if the peasants took my life, Colonel? Have you ever seen a man torn to pieces by a mob, Your Lordship? No, and I won't. Trouble comes, I'll meet it in my own way. Well, I have warned you. That's all I can do. You're getting old, Colonel. You worry too much. Thank you. If you worried a little more, you might live to be old. Come, my dear, we are leaving. Let me see you to your carriage. Now, what can I do to bring you here more often? You know we need such loveliness here. Oh, thank you. Why are they coming here? I've been expecting this. But what do they want? 
I've warned your brother. Quick, take Taya inside. She's not safe here. I, I can... I'll manage them. you want with him? I'll tell it to him. You can talk to me. I deliver your message. You can't storm in here like this. We're going in. Get out of the way. But look here, my friend. Show me. Expecting you. Come in, come in. Don't stand on ceremony. We have come. For me, I know. You're the ringleader, aren't you? Well, what are you looking so sheepish for? Came here to dictate terms to me, didn't you? Sit down, sit down. You'll find it very comfortable. You've come to get rid of me, haven't you? Yes. We have. Wait. Yeah. I know how you feel, but you must do this in an orderly way. Sure, orderly, but we get rid of it. As long as he is here, we won't be safe. But don't you understand? The government won't tolerate your taking authority into your own hands this way. The government doesn't care about us. But can't you see I'm trying to help you? We want safety for our sisters, our wives, and our sweethearts. But my brother has done nothing. What proof have you? If you harm him, you'll answer to me. Don't interfere. We don't want to harm you. We respect you. But that butchering brother of yours has carried off our women before you ever came here. And it ends right now. As long as you all feel so kindly towards my brother, I have a suggestion. I renounce my title in favor of my brother. Are you in earnest? I am. In fact, that's why I brought my brother back. I knew you were dissatisfied. I knew you wanted somebody else to govern you. Well, you have him. My brother, Anton. It's ridiculous. I won't hear of it. I think it's an excellent idea. I was sure you'd approve, Colonel. And you're all very generous to spare my life. I will not forget. Can I have a little time to settle my affairs before I leave the country? I'm sure my good friend, the Colonel, will take over the tedious business of transferring the estate. Won't you, Colonel? It will be a pleasure. Come there. Your worries are over, too. You won't have to be the Baroness after all. Come, Taya. No more responsibility. I shall be what you were, a student, a wanderer, a free man. Here's the steward's account of this year's crops. Inventory of taxes, Baron Anton. Sounds well, doesn't it, brother? No? <laughs> well, don't let it upset you. I'm the one to feel badly about it, not you. Oh, there's just one more thing that you should know before I leave.
Come here, brother. You're surprised. You thought no one had been in there for 40 years. Well, that was true, for I decided to have a look at it. And it's nothing. Centuries of fear for nothing. Come in. Still worried about that stupid legend? Don't be foolish. According to the legend, you're supposed to kill me. Careful of your head, Anton. The black room. It is black. What's that? The pit. Our ancestors used to throw their enemies there and left them till they rotted and died. That's where Bran killed Wolfram, and the legend began. Why, there are bodies there. Yes. This knife, there's blood on it. Yes. Is that a woman? Yes. Mashka. Then the horrible things they say about you are true. Yes. Why have you brought me here? Why not? Love it. No. No. Did you really think I meant to turn the title over to you? I've been getting ready for this for months. I knew they wanted to be rid of me. Now when I appear before them as the kindly Anton, no one will oppose me. Not even Taya. Goodbye, brother. There's nothing to fear now. The prophecy can't be fulfilled. It will be fulfilled. Perhaps he will come back from the dead to kill me. Even from the dead.
You play a remarkably bad game of chess, my dear Anton. Your attack is as weak as your brother Gregor's was brilliant. Chess, by the way, was the only virtue I ever discovered in him. I received a letter today from him from Warsaw. Mm. Most of it was devoted to begging me to send his love to you, Colonel. His love to me? Well, if I have to accept it, I'd rather have it by post than any way I can think of. He also asked to be kindly remembered to tear. He loved her, Colonel. The very thought of my child being loved by such a fiend, I... I beg your pardon, Anton. I forgot for the moment I was speaking of your brother. You are so unlike him. Forgive me. Don't let it disturb you, Colonel. No one knows Gregor any better than I do. I believe it's your move. There's one subject, however, on which my brother and I agree. Tear would make a charming baroness. This is a surprise. An agreeable one, I hope. It'll be a happy event uniting our houses. I can see no obstacle to it. I trust Tear shares your kindly feelings. I know what he's doing here. He wants you. You think everyone wants me, just because you do. I've seen the way he looks at you. Oh, come now. I'm sure you're just imagining. I'm not. Your uncle is probably flattered by the idea of your marrying a bear. Before, when his brother asked for you, there wasn't any danger because the colonel didn't like him. But this time... I... You're not going to get into any quarrel. I will if I have to. I've thought of nothing else since my retirement. May I have her answer soon? I'd give you her answer now. Her answer is no. Please, Albert. What? She's going to marry me. I assure you, Colonel, I had no idea when I spoke. Well, now you have. Young man, are you presuming to tell me what to do? I'm not presuming, sir. But if anyone should try to take her from me, I'd put a foot of steel through his body. How dare you? I beg your pardon, Colonel Hassel. I forgot myself, sir. You did indeed. Here. May I have my hat? No. Why not? Because if I give you your hat and you go out wearing it in the storm, you won't catch cold or get pneumonia, and I won't be able to bring flowers to the hospital or wear beautiful black clothes to your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, I think your temper is recovered enough so you can go back and apologize to your superior officer. I've said nothing to apologize for. I know it. Do it anyway. Just because Uncle's such a sweet old dear. Soldier must be in the barracks by midnight. They're like that little man on the music box. Always showing himself to his lady. And always dancing away again. Except that I always leave the baron for you. Don't, dear. Let's talk about ourselves while we can. What's the use, Taya? Your uncle and he are in the study right now, arranging for him to marry. They're doing nothing of the kind. You saw them take the table in the study. They're in there playing the same game of chess they started this afternoon. I was greatly pleased when you asked for Taya's hand. According to this, you've made me Taya's guardian. Yes. You'll live for a good many years yet, Colonel. And if not, I shall rest easy. You've given me complete control of all Taya's property. I shall have the same authority that you have. Exactly. There may be complications. You know how I regard Taya. Why should that interfere? The young lieutenant. <laughs> Puppy love. Her interests shall be my first duty. Then you accept. Gladly. I knew you would. Sign, Anton. Here. But don't you want to think about it a little? No, no. Sign it. Let me know this dream has come true. 
But surely you want to talk to Ted. No, no, come. Sit here. We'll tell her when it's over. There's ink on it. Oh. This is so formal an act. I, I feel that we should drink together to, to complete the ceremony. By all means. Why not some of Taya's favorite cordial? A sweet liquor? What could be more appropriate? Would you mind, Colonel? Not at all. I gave this liquor to Taya's mother when she was married. On very ceremonious occasions, she used to take a few drops of it. <laughs> tasted it for the first time when she was confirmed. How much sweeter it'll be to her now that her wedding agreement will be sealed with it. Now sign, Anton. It's signed. While you were getting the calling. So it is. Good. I've never been happier in my life. I'm a very fortunate man. To the union of noble houses. Thank you. Taylor's mother was a queenly woman. And speaking of queens, I think I can place a guard on yours. Guard. Guard your queen. Very good. I'm afraid I'll have to check your king. Watch this. Out of my check, your king and queen. Splendid. Master. You made exactly that same move three weeks ago. But we didn't play three. I saw you sign that paper. Gregor, what have you done with your brother? Where's Anton? Have you killed him, too? Don't you jump to conclusions? You have killed your brother. Why don't you notify the authorities? Do you imagine that I won't? I'm not afraid of you, Gregor. It's my duty to arrest you. Thank God I can save him. Go in, dear. All right, Taya. Good night, Albert. Good night, my darling. Have you seen Colonel Hassel? Isn't he in his study, sir? I was just in there and the room was empty. Then he must have gone to bed, sir. Thank you, Anna. Good night. Good night, sir.
that this man, Albert LaSalle, did, in a fit of insane jealousy, murder Colonel Paul Hassel. First witness, the footman, Michael. All I know is I heard Lieutenant Lucien shouting at the colonel. What did he say? He said he wouldn't let anyone separate them. Next witness, the butler, Raoul. He said if the colonel interfered, he'd put a foot of steel through his body. Next witness, the housekeeper, Anna. Lieutenant Lucien came out of Colonel Hassel's study. Did he say what he was doing there? He said he was looking for Colonel Hassel. What did he do then? He left the house. Next witness. The housemaid, Marie. What did you find when you entered the study next morning? I found the Colonel's body. He had been stabbed. Next witness. Yes. Yes, they did quarrel. Did you see him enter the Colonel's study? Well, no, I, I didn't exactly see him go in. Did he say he was going into the study? Well, yes, he, he said he was going in, but... Next witness, Baron Anton. <laughs> excuse from testifying. I was so friendly to the young lieutenant, I don't wish to injure his reputation further. You are found guilty of the murder of Colonel Hassel. It is the sentence of this court that one month from this day, you will be shot till dead in accordance with the laws of the land. <laughs> Don't you think you come here too often, Taya? It's not good for you. It's so hard to realize he's gone. Yes, he's gone. They're all gone. They? All who were there when I was born. My parents, my family. He was the last. I'm left alone. But your brother? Oh, yes, my brother. I'm sorry. I beg your pardon. I have so much on my mind. Come. Did you see Lieutenant Lucien? Yes, I saw him at the prison today. Did he speak of me? Yes. He said he didn't want to see you. <laughs> well, then, my dear, don't cry. I loved you. Of course you did. We can all be mistaken in people. You're the only real friend I have now. Your uncle set all his hopes in us, Taylor. It was his last wish that you should be my wife. And it's mine, too. I wish I loved you. You try. Give me time, Anton. Please. Certainly, dear. Be very happy. You make a beautiful bride. You're lovely even for a baroness. Baroness. What's wrong, your ladyship? When I used to dream of being married, it was never as a baroness. There, your lordship. 
I think it is most becoming, if I may be permitted to say so. Your bride will find you most attractive. Excellent. Excellent. Exquisite. Magnificent. Wonderful. I'm very well pleased. You may go. Never use your right arm again. Never stretch it out. Never embrace tear. Never even defend yourself with it. It's paralyzed to death. Dead, Anton. Good and dead. You're going to be married today. But you won't be there. <laughs> Try to, Your Lordship, but he always comes back. Poison him. Drown him. Do anything but get rid of him. Yes, Your Lordship. Understand. He always was so fond of the dog. But you can be across the border in a few hours, Lieutenant. No. Everyone's at the wedding. They won't miss you for hours. No. 
You'll be out of the country by then. Why should I run away from something I didn't do? Well, if you didn't do it, why don't you save yourself? Get away. At least then you'll give yourself a chance to prove that you didn't do it. Taya hey, believes me, Gilby. Not even one word from her since I've been here. I don't care about the rest. You're wrong, Lieutenant. I know she's asked about you many times. Are you sure? Positive. But I was told that... I've changed my mind, Baran. I'm going. That's fine, sir. I'll get out of here anyway. Then we'll see. If my lady will follow me, I will show her where she is to wait. Nothing will ever dim my love for you. No, mine. All my life there'll never be anyone else. Only I'm so afraid for you. Please go before they find you. Ladyship. Yes? The Baron is waiting. Everything is ready. I'm coming.
If anyone knows any reason why these two should not be joined in holy wedlock, let him speak now or forever hold his peace. Then I now pronounce you man and... <laughs> by the younger brother's knife. And the prophecy has been fulfilled. Mm -hmm. 